As I've covered in several segments, one of the biggest threats to the woke ideology is that men don't want to date feminists. It's actually really simple. And I'll give you a quick rundown before we get into the story. But here's the lead. Lawrence Fox takes extended break from social media after cancel culture leaves him fearing for his future. Fox said some of the comments he's received since appearing on the question t- on question time have left him shocked and caused him to become depressed. Apparently, he's even receiving death threats. Basically, what he said was he broke up with his girlfriend. Here's the story, actually, because she was supporting Gillette's toxic masculinity ad. He said he didn't want to date someone who was woke. Before we read this, I want to men- I want to tell you exactly why men not dating feminists is the biggest threat to intersectional feminism right now. Or I should say last year's Pew data shows 68% of millennial Democrats are, are, are women. Or I'm sorry, uh, 68% of millennial women are Democrats. That's the way, you, the right way. That means on the, on the other side of that, you have 32% who are male, who are millennial. The dating pool, or actually, no, no, I think that number is wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm mixing them up. It's like 40 or so percent uh, because it's, it's the number is per female to male. Anyway, the point is women, uh, the millennial Democratic women, have a much smaller dating pool. So it's like, you know, uh, for every two men, there's three women. Those women who are millennial Democrats say they will never date a conservative man. But because of the way population works, if they want to find someone their age and all of the other millennial men, male Democrats are taken, they have no choice but to choose a conservative man or just be single. So we have actually seen some high profile feminists actually flip and become more moderate because they had no choice. They met an attractive man. They wanted to go on a date and nobody else would date them. And so they ended up saying, you know what? I got to walk back these opinions. They're unpopular. It's actually not even so much about dating. It's more so about social acceptance. Woke ideology is scary and unpopular and nobody wants to be canceled. So these women have to change or they have to fall in line, remain single. I don't know, maybe buy some cats which is why I'm not surprised to see Lawrence Fox is getting death threats because he doesn't want to date woke women. What he said is explosively, it was explosive. It was dangerous. And boy, were they outraged. Let's read the story from Reclaim the Net. They say, ever since his appearance on Question Time, where he called out woke culture, many social media users have attempted to get actor Lawrence Fox canceled, with some even sending him death threats. Now, around a month after making that Question Time appearance, Fox admitted the constant attempts to cancel him have left him feeling depressed and tweeted that he will be taking an extended break from social media. He tweeted, a thread. I'm going to take an extended break from social media. I'd like to say a couple of things. First of all, a huge thank you to all of you who have followed me throughout my career and traveled vast distances to come and see me on stage, be in acting or singing. They go on to say that Fox wrote that he still believes passionately in free speech and stands wholeheartedly by people's right to express themselves. Fox also thanked those who had shown him support and added, I've had nothing but support on the street from people of all backgrounds and political viewpoints. That's right, because it's a 0.4% of Twitter users of the population on Twitter who are making these ridiculous posts. It's an even tinier fraction than that who are actually insulting people like him. Most people agree. Fox also thanked those who had shown him support. However, he wrote that some of the things people said to him on social media have left him shocked and feeling more and more depressed. He said, So actually, they have the first one, but I don't think they show the second one. They say, uh, Fox goes on on Twitter. Privately, I have been becoming more and more depressed. I have also been shocked by some of the things said to me on these platforms, and I have found some of it very hard to process. I think it's important to stand up to bullies, and that is why I have continued to do so. But I find that I wake up in dread of what's to come. I'm a fairly private, if opinionated person, and it's been very painful and difficult to cope with. However, I also believe in passionately in free speech. I stand wholeheartedly by people's right to express themselves. He goes on to say, but I am fearing for my future and my ability to provide financially for my children, a thought that keeps and has kept me awake most nights. People tell me it will blow over, but when you are in it, it doesn't feel like it will. I express an opinion which I stand by and don't believe is controversial. As a result, Equity UK called, amongst other things, for actors to denounce me. This has been very hard to deal with, given that members weren't polled before these tweets were sent out. I love my job. I am so blessed to have been fortunate enough to make a career out of it and have met some of the best people and made such great friends whilst working as an actor. The thought of that being taken away saddens me more than I can say. I think that we need to learn to listen to each other better. I am learning this all the time. 
I believe that pushing people to the edge of their ability to remain emotionally okay through cancel culture can and does have deadly consequences. For me, I am going to go back to reading more books. There is so much I will miss about Twitter, but on balance, I don't think I need it half as much as I enjoy it. I'll probably probably be back on in 10 minutes, taking the piss out of Lily Allen. Thanks for reading. LOL. They say Fox's announcement comes after several other high profile incidents have highlighted the dangers of cancel culture. The book tour for American Dirt, Oprah Winfrey's pick for her April Apple TV book club, was called off last month after it faced a storm of backlash, including threats of violence. YouTuber True Jordy also admitted earlier this year that he had suicidal thoughts after an online mob tried to end his career. So this is pretty crazy. This all stems from outrage over dating. Well, look, I can't fault you, Mr. Mr. Lawrence Fox, for not wanting to deal with the insanity on Twitter. But let me all tell you how much I love basking in the glory that is the outraged fem, fem, female incels, whatever they're called, fem cells or whatever, female incelibate individuals who can't get a date, who are absolutely outraged that I would dare challenge their woke ideology and tell them you're going to have a hard time because the sexual marketplace is kind of a thing and men have certain prefer- preferences on average. So, oh, boo hoo. I am uh, uh, apparently, I say this jokingly, I'm a glutton for punishment. I've made numerous videos about, you know, the problems of feminist dating, and they tend to do pretty well, probably because most of my audience are dudes, but they always take clips and try and claim I'm an incel, insult me and say all these things. And I can't help but kick back. I don't smoke, so I eat Sour Patch Kids and watch cartoons because I'm apparently not adult enough. No, I'm kidding. But I actually, actually, I actually stopped eating Sour Patch Kids. It's it's a bummer because I usually make jokes about it. But anyway, the point is, they get so bent out of shape. It's like, why are you watching my videos <laughs> if you don't like what I have to say? But my favorite thing about this whole, all of this, I, I, I'll i tell you what. You notice I cover a lot of these dating videos. We're going to do podcasts on dating because I love it. Please screech in my mentions on Twitter and say all of the worst things in the world to me. I don't care. I'm going to say what I want to say. Now, for Mr. Lawrence Fox, I'm, 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 a, I'm a bit upset because I need you to stand up for yourself and tell these people to go shove off. Otherwise, it will only get worse for other people. While I can respect you defending free speech and expressing yourself, and I can respect your right to bow out and remain private because of the problems, I wish you would not do that. These people are lunatics. Who cares? But let me just revel in the glory that is feminist dating for a little bit and wrap up by reiterating some very important points, which triggers all of these Twitter feminists who are very likely now going to uh, pull, pull sections of this video. My favorite part is when they passive aggressively tweet about me. Like they like I know who they're talking about, but they don't tweet it at me. Like so I, I was talking about in one story, one video I did where uh, 30 year old women were complaining that they couldn't find men their ages who, 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 who they could date, who made as much money as they did. And it's not because men aren't making money, although a lot aren't going to college and they're making less. The reality is just that a 30 year old dude who makes money is trying to hook up with 22 year olds, man. That's just been the way it is forever. And I'm not saying it's, the, it's right or wrong. I'm just saying that's the way things are. So don't be surprised if you're a woman who prioritized your career, make good money, more power to you. Much respect. Seriously, I, I, re- I mean that sincerely. But don't be surprised then when, when dudes your age are like, I'm not interested in you. You're 30 year old. Like I want, I want someone who's younger. I don't necessarily hold those views, but a lot of dudes tend to do so. And that's what the data shows. Because of this, all, I saw all these feminists tweeting passive aggressively about it. And I just thought it was absolutely hilarious because I'm like, you're watching my videos. I know you are. And I never said that was my preference. But sure enough, my Twitter is inundated very much so, probably like Lawrence's, with like thousands of crazy like left-wing feminist incels screeching about how they chose to live with their cats. I want to be single. I find value in being self-partnered. And then they buy a bunch of cats and post videos about their cats. And hey, cats are great. I got a cat. Cats are awesome. But I think there's value in having a family. And I think there are some important reasons why people should have families. I think it's gluttonous and hedonistic to be like, I'm just going to live for myself so I can be happy and have no responsibilities to my community and, you know, to other people. That to me is odd. Look, you don't got to have a family if you don't want to. But don't be surprised when guys your age who make good money say, it's time for me to start figuring out how how to have a family. There's some unfortunate realities that feminists need to cope with. 
And I'm not trying to be mean when I say this, but dudes basically have all the time in the world to figure out when they want to have a family. That's why it's not so big a deal when a dude's like, I don't know, almost I'm going to be 34 in a few weeks and essentially a bachelor because I have time. I'm not in a rush. I can build. I can do what I need to do. I can figure things out, have a family when I decide to. And that's typically that's one of the reasons why you'll find a lot of guys in their 30s who are successful are looking at 22 year olds. Now, I think that's a bit too young, but that is that does tend to be the, the, the age that people, you know, on dating apps go for, which I think is silly. 26, 28, maybe that makes more sense for a guy in his 30s. But that means a woman in her 30s is not what that guy is looking for. So you'll probably find a guy in his 40s. So they're upset they're not finding someone their age. Well, that's just what's happening. And the problem that these feminists need to realize is that they do have a time limit. And again, I mean this with utmost respect, but women have a time limit. Guys don't, which means men have this marketing advantage, you know, a sexual marketplace advantage. You can get mad at me all you want. You can screech in my mentions. I'm not saying these are my personal choices and preferences. I'm telling you the data shows all of this. And if you want to reject it, you're free to do so. But it's reality. And, and while it's not absolute, you'll certainly find guys who like older women and all that stuff. It's true. These are, these are, those, are the, those are the exceptions. This is the rule. It's the tendency. So don't get angry when that's what reality is. Don't send death threats to a dude because he doesn't want to date you because you're woke. Most people don't like wokeness. Welcome to the real world. I'll leave it there. Stick around. Next video is coming up tomorrow at 10 a.m. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you then.